The fight sequences from One Piece may look fun on screen, but you will be shocked to see how everything was done without CGI and VFX. Mihawk is an excellent fighter and one of the fans' favorite villains in the show, and his introduction scene looks even crazier without the CGI. Action! Sword! Zoro's introduction was also a very cool one as he had a big fight with a Baroque Works member after being disturbed. The funny thing about this fight without the special effects is that it was even more severe during filming between the stuntman who helped with the scene before the cast choreographed it. The fight between Captain Kuro and Luffy was a really intense one behind the scenes as dangerous stunts were involved. However, most of the tricks were performed by professionals who dressed in similar outfits to Luffy and Captain Kuro. Instead of depending on CGI for Kuro's cat claws, a material that looks like claws had to be worn by the actor, which was later adjusted a bit with video effects. The finishing of that fight between Luffy and Kuro looks even more fun without the CGI. Interestingly, after the professionals had already performed the stunts, the cast involved Inaki Godoy, who plays Luffy, and Alexander Maniatis, who portrays Kuro, also went ahead to practice the moves. It's not unusual that fighting and getting hurt causes groanings and serious body aching. Another shocking fact is many of the sounds weren't special voice effects, as the actors and stunt professionals created the sounds themselves. However, because it's sometimes impossible for actors to make the sounds while focusing on their fight moves, the sounds were added as a voiceover. Yeah! <clears throat> One Piece cast didn't just leave the fight sequences to the stunt professionals as all of them went through the training that suits their characters, and so they were able to perfectly portray many of the fighting scenes themselves before CGI was introduced in post-production. Taz Skyler, who plays Sanji, learned to fight Taekwondo for his role, and here's the process that went into his fighting skills. Yes. Yes. He learned all of this four months prior to shooting, and he quickly became an expert with his leg kicks. What makes Sanji's style of fighting more tricky is the fact that he has to use only his legs as his fighting weapon because he uses his hand to cook. The fight that brought the early Straw Hats crew together was an epic one that's just as chaotic without CGI behind the scenes. And even though they shot the scene on a dusty platform, a dust practical effect had to be sprayed so the impact of the fight could look like it did in the show. Also, Nami's fighting in the scene went through different rehearsals and practices before going on the field to try it out. And the funny thing is, Emily Rudd, who portrays the role, enjoyed every bit of it. And the fight sequences are so fun to do. So I'm kind of like, throw them all in, I'll do them all. The stunt coordinator, Franz Spillhaus, revealed that the stunt double and himself were so fascinated by how quickly Emily learned to fight by using the bow staff, and Emily is proud to mention that the karate she learned as a kid was one of the things that helped her. If you've been wondering how the cast fly on set and if it's real or not, here's how it looks without special effects. So fly system wire was one of the equipment that was really helpful with the stunts behind the scenes. This fly system was also used when Luffy and Nami pulled out Axe Hand's lockbox where he kept the Grand Line map. And the crazy thing about the scene is that it was shot repeatedly with the cast in the air. So it wasn't an easy shot to get, but the cast doubles on set were also very helpful in making it look real. Inaki Godoy also went through a lot of training and practice to perfect his fun moves. I had to do a lot of stunt training. Being a rubber man has a lot of cool things. One of the things Godoy had to learn to do on set without the VFX is to fly, which he did by learning to use the wires till he was able to fly and move in the air. As someone who loves the spotlight, Buggy gave quite the performance and his studio where he took Luffy and his crew looks just like a theater without CGI. Like the other places on set, this was also specially constructed for the scenes where he held the villagers captive while forcing them to see his show. Buggy's makeup was also done practically and little to no effects were used. So it takes it takes about two hours to get Jeff Ward, who plays the role, ready every day on set. Then we have to put his hair back for his wig. It's putting the tattoos on, putting the nose on. We had individual eyelashes that we put on for him. And then it's the painting of the mouth, applying the wig. Then 
Buggy also has individual eyelashes on. His nose, which makes him a clown, was achieved by using prosthetics. Before one design was chosen as Buggy's nose, there were many other options on the ground. And all of this applied makeup from his hair to his nose and skin has to be removed after every shooting and placed back the next time the shooting continues. Buggy's body is another tricky one to achieve, but this was fully completed with CGI by using a digital Buggy double. The fishmen look just perfect but the actors who portray them had to be made up using practical makeup too. So their faces weren't done through CGI or VFX. The fight between Arlong and Luffy was also one of the significant highlights of One Piece, and here's what one of the sequences looks like. Action! The Zoro versus Myhawk fight was a severe one as well, even without CGI, as the pre-visualization between the stunt actors came out really good, and the cast only had to follow up with the fighting choreography for it to come out well. The fights in One Piece were tough to portray without CGI and VFX. However, the showrunner Matt Owens revealed what made the cast do so well in it. Our actors really rose to the challenge. No one came from a point of, I think this is too difficult, because they want it to be as authentic as possible to their individual characters. Another exciting thing about the fights in the series is that they look more fun than scary for the characters, and these moves were intentionally placed to come out like that. Before McKenyu joined One Piece, he had already become a skilled swordsman, but there was still a lot that happened during his fighting scenes without CGI. Jacob Romero also mastered the art of using slingshot and was able to do his stunts as well. The younger cast was also not left out in the training and fighting that went on behind the scenes as the younger Zoro and Kina also battled it out without CGI. The set of One Piece live action basically looks like something that went through CGI and VFX due to its perfect look, but that's not the case at all. However, they were all built in resemblance to the pictures from the manga before filming. Alvita's boat was also created with some unique details that suit her character as it was painted pink with a duck head and wings. The Going Merry ship that houses Luffy and his team was very challenging to bring into live action, so a laughing figurehead was adopted which perfectly portrays Luffy. Kaya's house is actually an actual house that was redesigned without VFX, with many features that the true fans of the manga would notice. Although One Piece did a lot of practical effects and even built boats in a set for the show, some still had to be done using the green screen. And one of Avilda's scene with Luffy is one of those. And three, two, one, action! Got it? Even though boats were built, there was little to no sea exploration behind the scenes as it looks very different without CGI. The rocky movement that comes with being on the water was also achieved using practical means. What do you think of One Piece without CGI and VFX? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.